If you've ever struggled to extract text from a cell using the left and the right functions because they are so damn complicated for such a simple task, then I have the perfect lesson for you. Well, it's perfect if you are a Microsoft 365 user. Because recently, Microsoft released a whole bunch of brand new functions into Excel. And these functions in general help you to manipulate and shape text. And they've obviously had a lot of feedback related to the left and right functions, which can be simple if what you're trying to extract is simple, but can get really complex when you're trying to perform a very complicated task, like maybe extracting someone's last name from a cell. So let's take a look at these brand new functions because they really do make our lives so much easier. So I have a basic data set. I have some employee names listed here. And my boss basically just wants the first name, the middle initial, and the last name extracted into their own separate columns. A fairly simple task. Now, if I'm 100% honest with you, I'd just use Flash Fill to do this. But there are some situations where Flash Fill isn't going to be appropriate and we're going to need to use text functions. So we do need to learn how to use them. Now, as I mentioned previous to these brand new functions, we would need to use left and right to do this. And let me just show you an example of the easier one out of the two. So if I wanted to use the left function to extract the first name from this employee list, it would look something like this. We're going to type in equals left. Our first argument is the text. So where is the text? Here it is in cell B4. We then need to specify the number of characters from the left-hand side of the cell that we want to extract. So this would involve me counting the number of characters in the word William. Now there are seven characters. So if I type in seven and close the bracket and hit enter, it's going to extract the word William, which is what I want it to do. But if I double click this down, Check out what we have, a big old mess. Now, why is that? Well, it's because that in each of these formulas, it's only extracting the first seven characters. And because all of these first names are different lengths, this is why we're getting this inconsistent result. So there is a way to fix that. We can go back to our formula and we can modify it. So let's delete it out. And what I could do here is I could say equals left, I could select the text and instead of hard coding or just typing in the number of characters, I could do a find. And I could say find the first space in this cell and basically return everything to the left of that. So let's close the find, close the left, hit enter. And then when we copy this down, I get the result I'm looking for. Now, this formula is much easier than the right formula that we would use to extract the last name from this list. And it's so complicated, I'm not even going to bother showing it to you. Because the main point of this demonstration is to show you how much simpler it is to use text before and text after. So let's extract the first name using text before. Now, as I said, you'll only have these if you are using Excel for Microsoft 365. So text before. Our first argument is where the text lives, cell B4, and then we specify our delimiter. So again, I'm going to say extract everything before the first space. Close the bracket, hit enter, and then when I copy down, perfect. How much easier was that? So let's try and extract the last name now. Now this time, I'm going to use text after. My text is in cell B4. I'm still looking for the space delimiter, but when it comes to the instance number, I'm going to put a minus one in here. Now, what exactly is that doing? Well, the minus one basically starts searching backwards from the right hand side of the cell. So from the right, it's going to find the first instance of the space and then extract everything after that. So it's basically going to find this space just here, and then it's going to extract everything afterwards, which should be that last name. Let's hit enter. Check it out. So much easier than the right formula. Now, what about if we need to extract a middle initial? If you notice, two of these employees have a middle initial. Well, this is where we can have a little bit of fun and combine both text before and text after. So let's type in equals. We're going to start with, let's go with text before. We're going to select my text. We're going to look for 
the space delimiter. But this time I'm going to say that I want to find the second space in this string. So it's going to find the one that's after the H and it's going to extract everything before. So if I close this, I would expect to see William H. So we just need to get rid of the first name. So let's edit our formula and we're going to add text after on the front. Our text is being generated by the text before formula. The delimiter we're looking for again is a space and this should find the first space. So let's close the bracket, hit enter, check it out. Let's copy it down. So it's extracted the middle initial for William and for Ben and then where it can't find a middle initial we have NA in here. Now I would always recommend that you add in some error handling just to make this look less messy. So let's just add some if NA error checking in there. Our value is going to be generated by our formula and then our value if it can't find anything is just going to be a blank. Let's hit enter and then we can double click to copy it down and we have our task accomplished. So that's a quick run through of one of the things you can use text before and text after to accomplish. So much easier than what we had previously. If you like this video then make sure you smash that like button, maybe subscribe if you're on YouTube, give me a cheeky follow and I will see you in the next video.